from the fluffy to the squidgy and to the fuzzy, for as long as there have been video games, there have been cute things in them. And it might be stereotypical to think of video games as these violent pastimes, but that's just not true at all. And even the most stone cold of badasses can't resist tearing up at the sight of the cuddliest of creatures. In short, there is no need to be afraid to appreciate cuteness. So here are some of the sweetest little gaming characters you have ever seen. First up, you can always count on a Japanese RPG to contain its fair share of cuteness, so it's no surprise that the first entry in this list is a recurring character from one of the biggest games in the genre. Chocobos may be the cover star of cute Final Fantasy characters, but honestly the Moogles trounce them in the cute and cuddly stakes. They're like little cuddly bears with tiny wings and they're always helpful, whether it's the gigantic imitation Moogle belonging to Kate She in Final Fantasy VII, or the tribe of Moogles that help you during Final Fantasy VI's early hours. If you're lucky, you can even recruit one as a party member. Not limited to Final Fantasy, they even show up in, you guessed it, Secret of Mana, where they are equally as cuddly and cute. And don't get me started on the Mog House minigame in Final Fantasy VII. So cute! What do you call a limbless rabbit with one tooth and yellow fur? Well, it sounds like a freak of nature, but it's really one of the cutest enemies you're ever likely to fight. The humble, cute Rabbit is one of the very first enemies you'll encounter in Secret of Mana, and let's face it, you couldn't find a more unintimidating foe. Even with the lowest level character possible, it takes a mere two hits to splat these creatures. Although they're so cute, would you even want to? I mean, look at the little fellas. They're so pitiful that you can't help but fall in love with them, and I bet they would make great pets. These plump characters would become one of the main recurring characters in the Mana series, based on its cuteness alone. So that certainly earns itself the title of one of the cutest characters in gaming. Creating a cute character sounds pretty simple. First you draw a circle, and then you dot the eyes, add a great big smile, and presto, it's Kirby. He's pink, he's round, and you can probably bounce him on the ground. How Laboratory's most famous character started life as a placeholder in Kirby's Dreamland while developing the game, but would later be elevated to the starring role. He's had roles in so many of his own games, as well as multiple spin-offs. He's always been a reliable figurehead for some of Nintendo's stranger game ideas, from Kirby's pinball to his own epic yarn. No matter how much Nintendo's Western offices try to make him look tougher, he'll always be cute. Just try not to think about how he turns inhaled lifeforms into stars. Ugh. If dinosaurs had evolved to have extremely long tongues, float by paddling their feet in the air, and lay eggs that could be thrown at foes, arguably they wouldn't have gone extinct. Yoshi may have started off as the trusty steed in Super Mario World, but like Kirby, he would find himself in a ton of starring roles and cameos. But canonically, the cute little species known as T. Yoshishua Munchukupus, yes really, have an important role to play in Mushroom Kingdom history, shepherding Mario's younger self towards a reunion with his brother Luigi. So if that's the case, why the hell does Mario repeatedly punch Yoshi in the back of the head? In any case, if you need convincing of Yoshi's cuteness, I give you physical evidence, the Yarn Yoshi Amiibo from Yoshi's Woolly World. Need I say more? We're supposed to be scared of ghosts, but it's so damn hard when they're just as scared of you. Originally named Boo Diddleys after the late blues singer Bo Diddley, and also known in Japan by the name Teresa, Boos have been a recurring menace of the Mario series from Super Mario 3 onwards. Its creator, longtime Nintendo producer Takashi Tezuka, took inspiration from his own wife when creating the character, because she was normally very quiet, but regularly exploded in anger due to Tezuka being away from home so much while developing the game. As a result, these ghosts approach players while their back is turned, while shying away if facing them. No matter what their appearance, they're rarely intimidating and are a fan favourite, appearing on a great deal of Super Mario merchandise from t-shirts to plushes. Their shy nature has certainly made them appealing. This is Tommy. He's really great at being awesome at stuff, like chasing cats, boring other dogs and of course barking. In fact, he reminds me very much of another cute character on our list. While there are in fact two missiles, including a Shiba Inu from Ace Attorney, the character I'm inducting into this list is the plucky Pomeranian from the superb ghost trick, Phantom Detective. This character has a major part to play in helping the player solve the mystery of protagonist Cicel's murder, and I couldn't possibly spoil Missile's importance, but the thing you really need to know about Missile is that not only is he ridiculously adorable and incredibly loyal, but he's also really good at barking. 
in his own words, there really isn't much else in life. Without a shadow of a doubt, he's one of the best dogs ever immortalised in a video game and one of the cutest gaming characters ever committed to screen. He's the sort of dog we would love to have in our life. By now, you probably should have tears of joy gushing from your face. So I'll just finish up right here. Thank you very much for watching this sugary dose of cuteness. Are there any characters that I miss? Why not let me know in the comments? If you like this video and you want to see more, please check out the rest of my channel for more gaming fun. Don't forget to click that subscribe button as well and also share this video with your friends via social media as well. It only takes a minute and it really helps me and this little guy out. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, keep gaming positive.